Holy Spirit, as the scripture is read, open our hearts and minds to hear the truth. Shine light where we cling to darkness, convict where there is need, and call forth from us the passion and joy to respond to your word to us. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is from Jeremiah, chapter 20, verses 1 through 6, which can be found on page 708 of your Pew Bible. In our first Old Testament scripture this morning, we encounter the priest Pasher and the prophet Jeremiah, called to proclaim God's word in a culture that seems to have lost its way. Jeremiah has spoken against the temple and its worship, but faces public persecution by the temple authority, Pasher, for his words. Let us now hear the story. Now the priest Pasher, son of Immer, who was the chief officer in the house of the Lord, heard Jeremiah prophesying these things. Then Pasher struck the prophet Jeremiah and put him in the stocks that were in the upper Benjamin gate of the house of the Lord. The next morning, when Pasher released Jeremiah from the stocks, Jeremiah said to him, The Lord has named you not Pasher, but terror all around. For thus says the Lord, I am making you a terror to yourself and to all your friends, and they shall fall by the sword of their enemies, while you look on. And I will give all Judah into the hand of the kings of Babylon. He shall carry them captive to Babylon and shall kill them with the sword. I will give all the wealth of this city, all its gains, all its prized belongings, and all the treasures of the kings of Judah into the hands of their enemies, who shall plunder them and seize them and carry them to Babylon. You, Pasher, and all who live in your house shall go into captivity, and to Babylon you shall go. There you shall die, and there you shall be buried, and all your friends to whom you have prophesied falsely. God always blesses the reading and hearing of scripture. <laughs> 